Warning. The following program contains disturbing materials that might be inappropriate for younger viewers. Parental discretion is advised, bitches. <laughs> Like this, no? Oh, this is no, watch this. 
Jesus is telling him $200 for the whole Bitter. night. He says to her, nah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think she'll know. Bitter. She comes here. No, 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 no. She don't know. Come on here. What time is it right now? What time is it? What time is it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Four and a half hours. I'm going to give you the five hours. She says to him, you got to put your feet on the no, 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 I give her $100 of my own money for four fucking hours and this is fuck. So what are we talking about, bro? Did it, it didn't go like that? 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 What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Before I do get into this video, shout out to Mayo Sasur, because this is his video. But this is just me replying, making a response video, I guess you can say, towards the video that he posted up. <clears throat> now ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to speak based on my experience, stuff that I've heard from other travelers. And also things that's going on in Dominican Republic and this video is pretty much dedicated to my travelers out there the ones who've been traveling to DR for the longest time now those of y'all who are unaware that um, Dominican Republic has not been my destination for the longest time and I solely stay with that based on my opinions on it now I know I'm going to have probably a few trolls that will come along and get in their feelings or get butt hurt about the things that I say because God knows, and we all know, that there's a lot of black men who travel that do have emotions. And they get on their emotions, especially when it comes down to hoes and females. So I'm going to try to keep this light party. And I'm going to say this once again for the, you know, mentally challenged the ones who are you know coherent that this is basically my opinion solely based off of my opinion and also facts stuff that I've digged up as well and also heard from other travelers and my experience combined so you can agree or you can disagree that is up to you I know I said I was going to ease back on doing travel videos, but I said, what the hell? Why not? So listen. I know a lot of dudes is all excited about going to DR right now. COVID. People need to get away. And everybody's first destination is Dominican Republic. I get it. But the last time I've been to Dominican Republic was back in 2016, right? It's been some time. Um, I've traveled to other places before the pandemic. I was in Costa Rica and also some other islands I visit. But um, Dominican Republic hasn't been my number one destination. Uh, to me, and this is my opinion, I see Dominican Republic as just a starter kit for people who are trying to explore the Hispaniola Islands. Now, me personally, based off my opinion, um, Dominican Republic has changed dramatically throughout the years, and I saw a change for the second time me going into Sasua, and you notice how I say Sasua, I know it's supposed to be Sasua, but the reason why I give it a Sasua, and those of you please don't get offended, but this is just my opinions of the place. 
At one time, Sasua used to be a carefree going place. Uh, when I used to travel, there were a lot of older Caucasian men that were there. It wasn't too many black men. But as you can see, and if you travel, this, there's been a lot of black men going over there to Sasua. Now you say, well, is that a problem? Not necessarily, but then again, it can be. Because then you have the ignorant people who do travel out there and they bring their American ignorance over to the islands. And that poses a big problem. Now, I've noticed it my second time being back in Sasua in 2016. I've noticed that the women tend, tended to be very aggressive. They never used to be that way over money. And I say to myself, well, what, what is wrong with these females? On top of it, <coughs> if you're doing the P for P thing, that's up to you, your discretion. I don't, I don't, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't judge because I've done it before. So. You know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's not my cup of tea. I don't take it seriously. Uh, some men take it as a sport. Some men either get too emotional of it. And some men decide to want to play captain to hoes. And I just don't really understand it. I mean, some may not be aware that they're dealing with one. I mean, I, I feel bad for those because they don't know. But the ones that are dealing with the hoes, why are you taking it serious? I see dudes are so quick to want to fly to Sasua right now. And I say, listen, viewer discretion is advised. And that is for a reason. Sasua is a different Sasua. Dominican Republic is different now. Ever since the pandemic has happened, you think America is feeling it bad? Imagine those third world countries on how they feel it. Let me tell you this now. The prices, if you decide to want to do the pay for play for play thing, the prices on some pool tang has gone up. Okay? Stocks have gone down. The economy is bad. So, you know, on top of it, you know, no disrespect to these women, but, you know, these women, this is what they do in the islands for the most part to feed their families. And most likely to get the things that they want because the poverty is bad. You know, but at the same time, if you ain't going to have no travelers, you're not going to make any money. So you got to understand there's less travelers traveling to DR right now. Even some people that I know that's out there tell me it's a ghost town. There is no money being made out there because of this pandemic. So now you've got female workers that are losing their minds out there and they're overpricing men for some poo tang. So your regularly prices that you usually would pay for a female is not going to be the same amount if you decide to want to do the P for P thing, but it's going to be a whole lot higher. Now, here's the thing. In this situation, this guy paid the woman the right amount of money. I'm thinking this is what happened, but she's claiming that she didn't pay him his whole money and they had an agreement to it before you know i guess before the sexual encounter and after the sex was done this chick went ballistic and crazy and she wanted more money sometimes these women will trick you and plot against you and sometimes they will even steal from you when you're over there okay it used to be at all time low. It still was. It was going on even before the pandemic. But I can just imagine how crazy Sasua must be right now, with all those workers trying to get some sort of money from you. This is why I say, if you're planning on want to go to DR and you want to find women and do whatever you want to do, I would kind of chill out right now. Dominican Republic is just not the spot to go right this moment. It isn't. But hey. Your discretion is advised. I'm not telling you what to do, man.
but I see on social media and even on Facebook these dudes with passports say I'm going to Sasua. Look at me, I'm in Sasua. Da, 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 da. I'm sitting back, and I'm like, hey, by all means, if, hey, if you don't believe anybody, ask, ask the mayor. He'll tell you how it is. Mayor, mayor Sasua lives out there, so he he knows firsthand how Sasua is. So shout out to him. But you got to understand, man. You don't pay women to be around you. You pay them to leave. I've learned that the hard way. You don't pay women to be with you. You pay them to leave. Because they're going to be on you regardless. These women will going to flirt with you regardless, man. Those of y'all who haven't even had a breath of taste air, of fresh air. I should say taste air. A, a breath of fresh air, of foreign hospitality and how it's like. There's also different games out there. Throwing dollars. Niggas throwing dollars out here. Niggas throwing dollars. Niggas throwing dollars. These niggas fucking up shit. Niggas throwing dollars. Wow. Niggas throwing dollars. have to oblige me you can't be simping for the pussy either it's just a different type of game different type of women and different type of standards not saying it's like the western culture is nothing like the western culture but the way i see how dominican republic is starting to become and look at this right here man these people out here throwing the money Throwing the money in the air. Throwing all that money in the air at a party. See, that's that's the ignorance that I'm talking about. That's the stupid ignorance that I'm talking about. This is why Sasua is fucked up. And I, you know what? I'm solely to blame because I used to do promotion videos. How men should go to Dominican Republic. Explore, see how it is. But see, my intentions was not to get ignorant niggas niggas out there to fuck it up Sasua is looking like goddamn Sasua like the that the south side bronx and then niggas out there with a little bit of cash think that they rick ross out there because they throwing some money in the air and you got these women going crazy start taking the money but see now that you're throwing a lot of money the prices of the pool tang is going to go up and now they're going to be demanding higher prices now Nobody is going to want to visit DR because number one is no disrespect to Dominican women whatsoever. This is no disrespect, but like I said, this is just my honest opinion. This is my honest opinion on the different types of Latin women I've seen throughout me traveling and other places. I've seen better looking Latin women that are in other regions dominican republic dominican women used to have that essence that in my opinion used to have that essence maybe back in 2008 when i was out there 2007 and 6 it was a different type of atmosphere it was different i don't know well i honest i know what happened simple when you have ignorant niggas who bring western culture over to a foreign land this is what you get a world of corruption corruption chaos now you see why the women are acting the way they do because they are some dudes out there that don't like to play to pay dudes i'm not saying this dude didn't pay but sometimes the language barrier might be different maybe there was a miscommunication within the foreign exchange of the money or maybe she just tried to you know, the pool tank price went up, man. You know? But you can't get mad at these women for doing what they do, especially if you out there throwing money in the air. And sometimes you got to blame these white men, too, who travel to these countries. Because some of these white men, they be simping hard, too. They be giving these chicks 
200, sometimes 250 to smash. So guess what? These chicks is gonna expect every American that comes by to give me $250. Even if you have more than that, man. That <laughs> And more and more every day, Dominican women are getting surgery done. They're getting all bunch of stuff done. They're not doing things natural anymore. A lot of them are doing surgery stuff. So it's it's really taking out the natural beauty of it. Sisua is not that area is nothing more than a, a ghetto hood area. You know what I'm saying? That should remind me of the projects. It's a hood area. It's not the same anymore. It's like the hood. It's like that's the hood part of the island. I don't want to say Dominican Republic is, is like the hood part of the Hispaniola regions of Latin America. I don't want to say that, but I've seen upper class women that look a whole lot like Colombian women. They take care of themselves, Costa Rican women. Not saying Dominican women, they do take care of themselves, but it's just the fact that they're, they're losing their touch, man. And it's not really their fault, but it's also the niggas that act ignorant from the states. I mean, can we really get can can we can we really justify that? We can't say that. We cannot say that these women just entirely just act crazy and they changed and shit. Yeah, because of the coronavirus and low poverty and what's going on there. But we got to admit, because I've even seen it before, they are some niggas. That end up doing some dumb ish, like don't want to pay the chick or want to shortchange the chick out of the out of money after they you know did they think, you know what these women do, you know that's the, that's what their job is in that area, so why would you want to shortchange a business? Cause now it makes you look bad, it makes all of us look bad, and now these chicks is gonna upper up the prices, or they gonna be really strictly on doing things now, not like the way they used to, if this continues to happen with this cycle. Not saying this man did this, because there's a good possibility that this woman was trying to rob him. This is why I, I, I just, listen, y'all listen, y'all are all men, y'all grown ass men, so at the end of the day, y'all gonna make the decisions on yourselves. But this is like I said, my personal opinion. I wouldn't take the chance in traveling right now to anywhere because of what's going on with the economy and the virus. But niggas is gonna be niggas, so let them do. There's nothing wrong with traveling right now. If that's hey, if that's what you want to do, take that risk, then go ahead. I'm not going to take the risk right now, health-wise. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't know too much about this virus. Number two, also, financially. I don't know what, what the hell I, I would be expected or what, what's awaiting for me if I go back to DR. Because like I said, I haven't been back there since 2016. Do I have any plans on going back? No, I don't. I have plans on visiting other places like Mexico. I want to go back to Costa Rica and I want to do Colombia. As far as Brazil go, uh, I don't know. Brazil, Brazil got to clean up. They got too much. It's a little bit too hectic down there right now, man. So it's like I'm, I'm just picking and choosing. But like I said, nobody has to listen to a word I have to say. That's just my opinions. But I'm just speaking as a traveler, as an experienced traveler on what I would do. I'm a very smart traveler. I don't jump the gun just because I have an itch to just get some booty or I got an itch to just leave the damn country. I got to got to take safety precautions measures. But as far as DR goes, man, this is a really, really, really sad state of mind to see Dominican Republic like this. DR never used to be this way. You know, it's just sad. I mean, for instance, man, if y'all, it, it, it's get to the point where you really can't, you know, it's, it's like you really can't go out. Hold on. You really can't go out on these streets looking for these women, man. Because you got to be very careful nowadays, you know? 
I would say possibly, you know, if you're in Colombia or Costa Rica, and even some parts of DR, you know, you might have a better chance of going to a Roth. You know, where you can, uh, a brothel, I should say, not a Roth. I say Roth, I'm sorry. You go to a brothel where you could just go inside, smash the girl. And you know it's going to be what it is. You pay up front. You pay your money. You got a room there. And you got some condoms. You got everything you need. Nobody's going to disturb you. Nobody's going to bother you. But guess what? You ain't got to worry about all this extra shit. And this girl coming into your house and she knows where you live, man. It's like, yeah, I understand the guys go out, they do the P for P thing, man. And that's cool. You bring the girl back home. But you got to also understand, man. At the end of the day, it's their country. And they know how to maneuver around shit. So you got to be careful. And especially if these girls don't get their money. They will do some shit that you probably won't even think will go happen i mean who knows who the hell she knows out there that could probably set you up she could be watching you and get some dominican goons after your ass that's why you better off going to a brothel sometime i mean it's gonna get to the point where in dr you're gonna have to use a brothel you have to go to a brothel <laughs> man oh man it's crazy but i don't know i don't know how it's gonna be though but you know shout out to Mayor of the Sasua, Mayor of the Sasua, I think his, his name is. The Mayor of the Sasua. The Mayor of Sasua, sorry. God damn, I got tongue tied. But I want to know what you guys think, man. Uh, rate the video. Leave your comments. Those of y'all who are new to the show, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to make a PayPal donation, please feel free. If you would still like to be a Patreon member, that's cool too. I will be coming out with more traveling videos on my podcast on my other channel once corona kind of you know settles down it shuts the fuck up you know what i'm saying but anyways guys rate the video pass the videos around you know the rest god bless them out